Hello everyone, this is Anupam and in this video series we are going to install MySQL. This is going to be in a three simple step. First we are going to set up our target server, we are going to create a playbook and then we are going to execute the playbook. This is the design which I have already shown in the previous video series. The first job is to create a target server. We'll confirm the IP, we'll log in and check the SSH keys. If everything is fine, we can log in. Then we'll create our folder called MySQL under USR. We'll update the host file with the database name. We'll update the firewall if not done already. In my case, I've already done it, but still I mentioned it that we have to do it. Restart the FTP service if it's not started. This is my MySQL YAML file, which is our playbook. In this, I'm going to execute the following steps. The first is to copy the repo file. The repo file is where we'll have all our repositories. It's going to install the wget. The second is install the Python. The, this Python is actually used to do other activities like creating databases and other things. Then we are going to download the lib file from the following location. Then we'll install the RPM and then we are going to install MySQL server. If anything pending prerequisites are there, then we're going to start the service. We'll create MySQL database, we'll create a demo user, and then we'll restart our Microsoft SQL. I'm sorry, it's MySQL services. I'm having a hangover of Microsoft SQL because I was just using a couple of hours before, so I'm sorry for that. And the last job is to run the playbook. So let's not waste our time and let's start. Here is my console terminal. We will SSH. The first job is to log in. Let's see the first job. We will log into the target server. SSH 192.168.104. Uh, I knew the IP address, so I'll just log in. Yes, my SSH key is working. The next job is to create the path and get your uh, okay very good so at the following location already exist so let's exit from the server and let's create our update the host file okay let's go I'm sorry we'll go to cd slash etc and subgroup ls we can see our host file here vi host base done and now we'll create the playbook the playbook name is mysql install instead of typing i'm just going to copy the entire playbook because i don't want to waste time here Now we go. Okay. Oh, we need to also update this. Okay. So I, I'll again go through that. We are going to copy the repo file. We are going to install wget. We are going to install MySQL Python. We're going to download the libraries. We're going to install the RPM. We'll update the packages. I'll, this is not required. I'll just comment this. 
then I'll install whatever required uh, dependencies are. I'll start the SQL services, create a demo database. The demo database name is Anupam. We can see here. I'll create one demo users and restart the SQL services. Okay, now let's run the playbook. Ansible playbook. And let's execute. So our job is done. We can see total changes 10, all okay, 11. Let's log into the server and check if our MySQL is installed. SSH 168.04. Let me clear this first. Okay, we are into the command line of MySQL. Show data basis and we can see here a database is created called Anupam so this was a simple install and it's a straightforward playbook which just simply install the MySQL server and a create a database and create a user so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like this video and do leave a comment if you have any other questions regarding this and furthermore, I'm going to put more videos on creating roles, which is going to upcome the next week. For now, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.